Yes guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna change up my training a bit. I'm gonna potentially do legs first. So that means I've got more energy to do my leg workout and then finish off with upper body and abs. So I'll see you in the gym. So guys, here I am back at Marvel Fitness Gym and just starting to train legs and starting off with the leg press and as you can see, my legs aren't the biggest at the moment. That's why I'm focusing a lot on training legs right now because I think it's very important to train your weak points and my legs compared to my upper body are pretty bad. So I'm making sure I do quite a lot of sets on my legs. So as you can see, slowly up in the weight and I'm making sure I'm getting a good four sets of 10 to 12 reps on each leg exercise I do so these, here is just two sets of my leg press and I know it's not much weight but I mean there's no point putting too much weight if you're compromising your form and then I go on to some hip thrusters because this is really good it helps with your squat helps improve your balance as well so just gonna smash these out and yeah I mean my form's probably not the best on it but I mean slowly learning all the proper techniques and the proper form on doing it and then I'll slowly start adding more weight and it's actually my personal trainer who Harry who's shown me the hip thrusts because I never used to do them I thought oh it's only really for females to do but it's a great great exercise to do even if you're male because it builds so much core stability as well and it's just such a good workout and yeah, I'm still not 100% comfortable with it. And then just go into some walking lunges. I mean, these are just great for mobility and it does work your muscles so well doing lunges. But I mean, I'm making sure I'm just doing enough lunges. And I mean, it really helps with balance. But yeah, as you can see, my balance ain't that great. So slowly adding on more weight each time I do it. And I'm doing... I think 10 steps so five on each leg on the way up and then five on the way back down I've got an itch I can't scratch I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me an open wound scar to see everybody come here gather round welcome to the freak show the best in town what the hell's wrong with me I don't get along with anybody honestly I've been living in my own head constantly thoughts jumbled round think I need a so now what I'm doing is a sled push and it's really good for working all your leg muscles. I start off with 80 kilos, do a couple laps of this, so one forward, one back, and then I will then add on an extra 20 kilos to make it 100 kilos. I mean, it's not a lot, but we've got to start somewhere, haven't we? But hopefully I'll be able to add on more weight after I keep doing it. I mean, it's going to take a long grind to grow my legs, but... <laughs> I mean, got to start somewhere and I'm happy with how my legs are developing. I mean, I'm not the biggest at the moment. And then straight into some leg extensions. And I've got to admit, my form on this is pretty bad, but it's not the best. But it's all about learning when you first join the gym. And I mean, I stupidly neglected my legs when I first started training. I thought, oh yeah, I'm doing a lot of walking, doing I'm constantly on my feet walking and doing work. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll get enough of a working. But it's crazy how much better it is to actually include your workouts. And I got to admit, I absolutely love this, doing my calf workouts because I got quite good calves of genetics. So as you can see, my calf is pretty pronounced in these so quite happy with it the new lobotomy wait all these thoughts are too negative i don't want to get lost in the sedative gotta show them what i got i'm competitive you know i'm about to go off i won't let them win i'll take a stab i want to chase a bag i want a way i can change all the things i lack i gotta face the facts i gotta
now I'm just moving into training my upper body, just doing a bit of flat bench. I didn't want to go too much on the upper body because I'm going back in on Friday to do a bit more heavier upper body. So I just thought I'll give myself a quick little pump, smash some weights up and down. But I mean, I'm still going to be focusing a lot on my legs Friday, but I'll probably be doing a bit heavier on Friday. It all depends on what my personal trainer decides we're going to do because my next session is Friday with him. So hopefully we can discuss maybe doing a bit more upper body, but I love doing legs with him because he absolutely kills my legs. And doing a cable fly is a really good way to really focus on your chest and get some good definition into it. I mean, I'm not doing too heavy at the moment because I just want to make sure I've got a form right. And as you can see, it's not the best, but it all takes practice. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. And yeah, I mean, after my legs, I'm pretty exhausted. So you can see I'm a bit huffing and puffing. But I mean, we all got to push ourselves through the limits of what we're capable of doing. So now we move on to some shoulder press and um, I was just trying to focus on the flip up from my knees there and I mean I'm not going too heavy because I got quite a bit of a sore shoulder at the moment so I was just making sure I was doing a full range of movement and not going too heavy because I didn't want to injure myself and I mean it's horrible not being able to train if you're injured so I just went a bit light making sure but I'm quite liking the way I look at the moment and here I'm doing things called a free crunch. So basically you're doing a crunch but also bringing your legs in but you're using your lower ab muscles to contract it and it's quite a good burn because after about 15-20 reps, depending how experienced you are with ab workouts, you start feeling a burn. But yeah, it's a really good exercise to do. Yes guys, as you can see, I changed up my training program to include starting to do legs first because I want to have a more explosive power and more energy to train my legs first. And I just want to say how important it is to focus on your weak parts. I mean, we all love training upper body and smashing on all the good parts and what we're good at doing. But if you don't focus on your legs or the things you're weak at, you're never going to improve because if you don't train your legs, say if it's your weak part are your legs and you don't train them, they're never going to be as good as your upper body and I think it's very important to make sure you have equal strength in all parts of your body. But yeah, I mean, I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one and hopefully we'll start getting shredded for summer. So we'll see how that goes along.